Hi everyone, my name is Julia, and my, I'm here to talk to you about living your life with a better perspective. But before I start, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my project. It's called Capturing Detroit. And my goal was to diminish any negative stereotypes about the city by taking pictures of it and showing its true beauty. And so while I was there, I went around every other week or so downtown and I took pictures of new places and I got to see some amazing things. Um, one of the amazing things I got to see was this. This is a mural in, down, in Mexican town and it was hidden in this back alley and that caused me to ask the question, why would somebody hide something so beautiful? And it's things like this mural that really inspired me to talk about perspective. So before I start, I'm going to tell you the story about how I chose my talk. So I was in Lansing and I was walking and on the ground there were hundreds, maybe even thousands of cigarette butts. And I was really disgusted by the fact that with every step I took, I couldn't avoid stepping on one. So I shifted my focus and decided not to focus on the negatives, shifted my focus, looked up, and to the side of me was this beautiful mural, but it was hidden behind a pillar. And just like that last picture of the mural, I questioned why this mural was hidden too. Why would somebody hide something so beautiful? And then it clicked for me. If I would have kept my focus on the negative things, and if we keep our focus on the negative things in life, we will never look up and see the beautiful murals that this world has to offer. Here are two quotes that I think really um, represent how I want to talk about perspective. The first one is, life is 10% what you make it and 90% how you take it by Irving Berlin. So life is 10% what you make it. There are some things in life that we do have a choice on and you should always make those choices with a positive mind and a positive outlook on life. But 90% how you take it. Our life has good and bad things in it. We don't always have the choice of how they'll turn out. But 90% how you take it is how you react to those things in your life. And you should always find the good and the bad, the light and the dark. Our, my second quote is, we can complain because rose bushes have thorns or rejoice because thorn bushes have roses by Abraham Lincoln. And this really goes for the city of Detroit because the city is a beautiful rose bush, but we mostly seem to concentrate on the thorns of it instead of really looking at the beautiful flowers. So I talked about some amazing places I got to see while I was downtown, and one of them was the Heidelberg Project. Before I tell more about the project, I'm gonna tell you about this clock I saw. I took this picture my first time there, and this clock really spoke to me, and I didn't know why until a few weeks ago when a quote that I, that I came across when I was deciding my project popped into my head again. Do what you love so that you love what you do, because when you love what you do, you'll never feel like you're wasting your time. And that goes for life, because when you do stuff you love in life and you pick your career of something you love, you'll never feel like it's a waste of time or a chore or you feel like you could be doing something better. So that's what you should really take in life and run with what you, have, what you want to do because you should do what you love. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the Heidelberg Project a little more. It's a nonprofit organization run by a man named Tyree Guyton, and he builds houses out of objects that he finds laying around, and he, there you have like themes. So this one is the dot house, there's the stuffed animal house, and this is a number house. Um, so this fall I mentioned I got to go there for the first time and take pictures, and when I was there I didn't know that this would be the last time I would see a bunch of these houses, because unfortunately uh, they were burned down this fall. And I think the way that Tyree reacted to the burning down of the houses really speaks for his positive perspective on life. So this is where the record house was. Um, it's a memorial for it and it says, soul never dies. And when people burn down Tyree's houses, this is basically their way of saying, stop making art. But Tyree reacted and built this memorial and with this memorial he was saying, soul never dies, I'll never stop making art. When people tell you no, say, watch me and try harder. And I think we should all take that into our lives and run with it. So Tyree and I both look at life with a positive perspective, as you can see what he made with his mural. And I want you all to stop looking at the cigarettes on the ground and look up, shift your focus, and look at the beautiful murals in life. But why? Why should you listen to me? I'm 15 years old, I'm a sophomore in high school, I mean, how many perspectives have I really had? And the answer is a few. Uh, six years ago, I went through something that really changed my life, and it could have changed my life in a negative way, but I chose to look at it in a positive way. 
I was diagnosed with juvenile diabetes in fourth grade, and it was a life changer for me, and I thought it was kind of the end. But I remember when I was first diagnosed, I was laying in my hospital bed, and my doctor came in the room and said to me, Julia, get up, get dressed, you are not sick, you just have diabetes. And this always stuck with me. I, instead of looking at this disease as a disability, I looked at it as something I just had to manage. I shifted my perspective from the negative to the positive, and I've always stuck with it. And if I can do it, you can do it too. Earlier this week, I read an article on the Huffington Post by James Clear, and he said, when we experience emotions like joy, content, and love, we're more, we are more accept, like, accepting of opportunities and we're more willing to go out and do things. And that's basically saying when you're happy and positive, you don't miss out on anything. And who wants to miss out on something? So you're going to ask, where can I start? And that's what I'm going to say, happiness versus success. Too often in life, we focus on our success than the actual happiness of ourselves. And we often convince ourselves that, su that success is our happiness, but it's not. We've all heard the quote, focus on the journey, not the destination. But that's wrong too. You shouldn't focus on the journey. You shouldn't even set a destination. You, could, you should focus on happiness, because when we shift our focus to happiness, we might just succeed at life. Thank you.